Drug abuse among youth in the country is on the increase in recent times, and this informs why the Offa community in Kwara State is taking the bull by the horn by organizing a sensitization program to enlighten the youth. To examine topical issues in our society and providing solutions to address such issues. This year, the topic is a loaded one to address various social vices and insecurity that bestrode our country the root cause of which we have situated at the doorstep of drug addiction. To the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, drugs worth 60 billion naira have been confiscated in the last two months as part of the nationwide campaign to stem the tide of illicit substance sales and consumption. Buba Marwa, speaking through the Kwara State Commander of NDLEA, Kayode Babayeju, at the event themed Hard Drug Abuse and Insecurity, a Siamese Twins, said that the 90% of crimes committed in the country were under the influence of hard drugs. 99% of crimes committed or criminal activities are linked to drug abuse. If you look at crime waves in Nigeria, you will see that most of these criminals are under the drug or under the influence of drug and drug because looking at it we, it, it marvels us that how can these people behave like this because i cannot see this in why somebody will carry a gun and kill a fellow human being i cannot see this in why some group will come together like court and kill fellow students i cannot see this in why some people will be in the bush like monkey Raging villages, killing people, go around their way to kidnap. My brother and sisters, it is not honorary. Kwara State Governor and the Senator representing Kwara Central, Ibrahim Oloriegbe, lament how drug abuse is affecting the future of the youth, calling for collaborative efforts in tackling it. To the Innovation Hub and Skills Acquisition Center, I've been there twice. Um, the first one to just spy on them to make sure uh, they're doing the right thing. And the second location was to lay the foundation stone. And I must say, uh, they're doing a very good job, a very good job. Um, what they're doing deepen, will deepen knowledge in the world, will create opportunities for the young and also create investment environment, teach the teachers, the uh, youth and take them up the street and make sure they're guided rightly. Once more, this is, a, this is the way to go. Once more, I congratulate the president and his team for doing a very good job. As a son of I also speak about youth and substance abuse. And these two, I combine it to say that the effort of the public policy government in strengthening our education system is to be commended, as well as the government in building an IT up. I also commended IDPU for embarking on IT up as part of his media project, which is launched last year and continue to do this year. And I call on all the citizens of this community to support IDP in this regard. I spoke about substance abuse being a menace now and something that we need to tackle. And in tackling this, it requires a whole community effort. We shouldn't see those that are engaged in drug abuse as criminals, but we see them as people with challenges and that require support and that require rehabilitation. The speakers agree on the need to find a lasting solution for drug abuse among the youth and urge community leaders to collaborate with security agencies in this regard.